The Legend of Azor Ahai He's the legendary warrior that saved the world from the White Walkers. Lots of fans think he might actually be the same person as the prince who was promised. Legend has it that 5,000 years ago, winter fell for a generation, and a lone figure referred to as Azor Ahai put an end to the darkness. Melisandre discusses the prophecy in A Clash of Kings. She says, There will come a day after a long summer when the stars bleed and the cold breath of darkness falls heavy on the world. In this dread hour, A warrior will draw a burning sword from the fire, and that sword shall be Lightbringer. The red sword of heroes, and he who clasps it shall be Azor Ahai come again, and the darkness shall flee before him. Let's talk about Lightbringer for a minute. This is a crucial aspect to the whole prophecy, the fabled sword that was cast of living fire. Azor Ahai took three tries to create the sword. First, he tempered it in water, but the sword broke. Then, he tried to temper it in the heart of a lion, but again the sword broke. Finally, he made a third sword, stronger than the others. He called his true love to him, his beloved wife Nissa Nissa. He tempered the sword by driving it into her heart sacrificing his greatest love but binding her soul in Lightbringer. In the legend, Lightbringer is always referred to as a sword, but many people think that it might simply be a metaphor for something else, another type of weapon that could be used against the White Walkers. In A Dance with Dragons, Melisandre says to Jon Snow, When the red star bleeds and the darkness gathers, Azor Ahai shall be born again amidst smoke and salt to wake dragons out of stone. Aemon Targaryen adds that Azor Ahai must have some of the blood of the dragon in him. In fact, a woods witch told Aerys and Rhaella Targaryen that Azor Ahai would be born of their line specifically. As Targaryens, anyone from their line would count as having the blood of the dragon. So to recap, there are seven total signs that point to Azor Ahai. Number one, Lightbringer, a sword or some other weapon that can be used to fight the White Walkers and save the Earth from the Long Night. Number two, reborn and forging Lightbringer under a bleeding star. And number three, born amidst salt. Number four, born amidst smoke. Number five, has the blood of the dragon. More specifically, is born of Eris and Rhaella Targaryen's line. Number six, a sacrifice of a loved one. And number seven, something to do with dragons. Now, who do we know that fits these criteria? Daenerys woke dragons from stone after the sacrifice of her beloved husband Drogo and son Rhaego. She's the daughter of Eris and Rhaella Targaryen, reborn amidst the salt and smoke of Khal Drogo's funeral pyre under a bleeding star. The only part that seems unclear is Lightbringer. She has no sword, but she does have three powerful fiery dragons that would probably be more useful against the White Walkers than any single sword could ever be. If the dragons are Lightbringer, then Daenerys fits all the signs of Azor Ahai. After all, Aemon Targaryen already admitted that he believed Daenerys to be the princess who was promised. Old Valyrian is a gender-neutral language, so there was never any real indication that it had to be a prince. But if it is a prince, there's really only one other person it could be. After the season 6 finale, we learned that there's someone else with the blood of the dragon, from the line of Aerys and Rhaella Targaryen. Jon Snow was killed and brought back to life, or reborn. In A Dance with Dragons, his wound is described as smoking. Someone is bleeding in a star-patterned cloak, and Bowen Marsh is crying salt. Jon is already a brave warrior, fighting against the White Walkers, so these are all signs that point to him being Azor Ahai. But the Lightbringer part is unclear at the moment, as is the sacrifice, and he has no connection to dragons whatsoever, beyond just being a Targaryen. Melisandre seems convinced that he's Azor Ahai. He's the prince that was promised. But she's been wrong before. Some have argued that Jaime Lannister could be Azor Ahai since he could hold a burning sword in his golden hand and might have to temper it by driving it through the heart of his beloved Cersei if she starts going even crazier now that she's Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. But this seems unlikely since it doesn't fit any other parts of the prophecy. Right now, it looks like Azor Ahai is probably Danny, or possibly Jon, but maybe even both since that would bring together a song of ice and fire. Who do you think is the prince who was promised?